Hello everyone, Marcy here, and I wanted to do a quick flip through of my third entry into the Spring Stash Buster Junk Journal Challenge. This challenge is hosted by Dear Julie Julie and Kara Brandon. Excuse me, I'm about ready to sneeze, so I'm going to pause for a second. And the sneeze passed. Okay. Anyway, this journal is the third one I've made for this challenge and will be my last one. This journal measures about 10 and a half inches tall by 7 inches wide. Uh, the front is paper covered. And if you saw my last one, my Nature Glue book, just like it, I was very pleased with the way I was able to get the cover to come out. Maybe I finally got that figured out. It's smooth, it's sharp around the edges. Anyway, so paper covered, put lace over the binding, and just a Grogain rib ribbon closure. The cover design actually came from a mini challenge within the Spring Stash Buster Junk Journal Challenge. And I was just getting ready to start this journal when the challenge, the mini challenge was put out. So I just made the front cover fit within the guidelines of the mini challenge. This journal is primarily unadorned. As you can see by the title, Ideas, this is going to be my idea journal, my note journal for junk journaling. I'm, I'm new to junk journaling. I'm still learning a whole lot. So having a place where I can try things out and just stick them in and take notes of how I did something will be great. The simple things like the, the five-stitch pamphlet binding. For some reason, I cannot get through my head which holes to go to in which order to make it all come out right. So taking notes of that would be a really good idea. So in the front, I've got a little pocket in it. I've just put a tag that I made, also made for the mini challenge. Then we've got... Uh, in stash busting, I've been using up a lot of my heavier weight card stock that is great for card making, but not so great for a lot of junk journaling. And I've got a lot of it. I have a bad habit of, ooh, it's on sale. It's pretty. Let's get it. When actually I only like about half the sheets in the pad, and so the rest of them go unused for a while. Then I've got a page out of a children's book. Another scrapbook page with a pocket. And place to take notes. This journal has lots of note taking. Lots of writing space. More scrapbook paper that I turned into a side pocket. Uh, some grid journal paper, more scrapbook paper. This is actually a little sheet of light, very lightweight cardstock that came from a, uh, like a family scrapbook album that I picked up at Goodwill. It had a bunch of these sheets in it, and I've still got most of them, uh, but they're, they're great. They're not as heavy as regular cardstock, but they're not nearly as thin as like copy paper. They're a little thick. Oh, a little thicker. This is really good grid journal paper. Maybe a hair shade thicker than that, but not my, by much. This is the type of paper I'd love to have for my junk journals. Okay, then we've got the center, and I tied on some beads for the center of the signature and then we just see the reverse side. 
on all these scrapbook pages or papers, uh, because the book was seven inches wide, obviously a 12 inch piece of scrapbook paper, uh, cardstock would not give me full. I'd need 14. Uh, yeah, 14 inches. So what I did is I, I glued basically a another kind of paper to each side of the cardstock so that I'd have plenty of writing space. Here I've got a piece of uh, just notebook paper, but it, again, this was something I'd picked up at Goodwill. It was a spiral brown notebook, uh, but it's got purple lines. And I like that just because it's a little different. And more printer paper. Scrapbook paper, grid paper, the other side of that children's book page, and I just left it as a fold out until I know what I'm going to do with it. And that's the end of that signature. And as I mentioned, this is primarily unadorned because it will be adorned as I'm, or unembellished as I'm adding ideas and trials to it. Then here I put in a little 6 by 9 envelope, left that part that can be closed up. Paper out of a to-do list pack. More printer paper. Scrapbook cardstock. Here's some more of that purple line notebook paper. Uh, a library card pocket I'd made as part of the mini challenge. In the mini challenge, we had to use something with polka dots, stripes, flower text, stitching, trim, and words. So, here's a little page out of a kid's activity book. And the center of the signature here I just attached a little key. Unfortunately, you get one side of the page right side up and the other side of the page upside down. <laughs> so I just made sure that the right side up pages were the images I really liked. Okay, ledger paper. Another side pocket. The other side of that printer paper, scrapbook paper with pocket made. Here's a journaling card, again, from that mini challenge. The other half of the 6x9 envelope, this one I cut the bottom open so I can tuck stuff in there. Some regular blue line notebook paper and another piece of scrapbook paper with a pocket. And in the, on the back, I took a, uh, what is it called? a sheet protector, cut it down and made a clear pocket. That way I can tuck stuff in there, whether it's notes or ideas, whatever I need to tuck in there just until I can get it put into the journal. Somewhere... I missed, where did it go? There it is, I didn't even tell. This was also part of the mini challenge, but this is the what I will use for the index of my idea journal. And I just made sort of a matchbook notepad with guest checks in it. I've just got them glued in, but I could easily tear one off if need be. And the reason for that for doing an index for me is I won't want to flip through all the pages looking for the specific thing I'm looking for. Uh, so if I have them written down in one spot and I'll probably actually number the pages or something so that I know where to find whatever it is I'm looking for. Other times I may just want to flip through and uh, 
see now what is it that I've done to put that I've put in here that I might want to use in a journal and that's fine but other times say the the five whole pamphlet stitching I, I just want to remember which way the stitching goes to make the, the stitching work so anyway so that is the end of my journal I hope you enjoyed this quick flip through and I've really enjoyed this month's challenge it's been great thank you to dear Julie Julie and Kara Brandon and I will talk to you guys later bye bye